Alright, welcome back to another episode of uh, Diaries of Death and World of Warcraft Hardcore. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing on the official World of Warcraft servers uh, on Stitches with our Frost Mage. It is time, I told you, we will be able to find a dungeon group. And that indeed is true. We are doing Dire Maul East. So, Dire Maul, uh, a dungeon in Feralos, has a couple of different runs uh, the north uh, side the tribute side and the east side the eastern one is the quote-unquote easiest and as we have uh, two level 58s uh, our healer and myself uh, people were a little bit uh, more careful about uh, what we can and can't do so we're going to nicely do this dungeon this time i'm not in voice although i know uh, the general uh, pulse and we're yet again in a nice group together with zuzu our warrior partner he's not tanking today though he's doing exactly what he has always been doing dealing damage Okay, so double warrior, a rogue, uh, plus mage and druid is actually a pretty nice combination for from a loot perspective because there are no other cloth wearers, which means every single cloth item that is somewhat usable will go directly in my direction. First, before we talk about loot, let's talk about how we do the dungeon. Since I uh, still have the self-found limitation of the first for, uh, 30 days of, um, of Blizzard's account, I really unfortunately don't have uh, the opportunity to enchant my gear, which I would technically do. Um, would I be going into the dungeons simply because uh, a couple of extra hit points are uh, fine? But you can always circumvent that. In this case, uh, with a little bit of extra work, found uh, ourselves a nice priest that was uh, willing to buff us with stamina. So we got 500 hit points just from that stamina uh, buff. Uh, and then I used, and then I used my uh, blasted lens buff, the spirit of the boar, uh, for just one more um, massive buff found a nice little hammer that will go well point in case case uh, even if you are not like fully geared or fully enchanted there's always something that you can do in order to make yourself more valuable and in my per, um, perspective the 3500 hit points um, for mage are plenty uh, plus keep in mind we have an upgraded shield ice barrier is now coming in at 800 plus um, extra health so we're looking at 4300 4400 effective hit points which isn't too bad i mean it's actually quite nice okay cool so there aren't any major quests for us this time which means i'll be commenting around most of uh, the dungeon itself zuxok you will see is just doing an absolute stellar amount of damage. I'll be a bit careful with not uh, going crazy on this uh, on this pack. I rearranged our uh, UI a bit on the bottom right. You can see uh, the damage meter. You can make that just a tiny bit uh, larger. And depending on the uh, pack and what we're fighting, you will see that, of course, uh, we are uh, trailing behind uh, the level 60 geared uh, characters. But that does not mean we cannot uh, meaningfully contribute. Talking to later, as well as uh, 
um, a lot of AOE damage is definitely what I want to see in these packs. Things are looking very much different. Because here you can see, yes, all of them are doing damage, but it is the mage who reigns supreme. Yeah, not even close. Um, so, what else? So, we got the threat meter here. Uh, for Since we haven't really talked much about uh, threat at all, I'll just give a rundown whilst we're doing the dungeon. Threat determines um, who an enemy will attack. And oftentimes, it's a bit of a wonky measure. Uh, the warriors have an inherent challenge because they technically want to keep... Um, as much of the rage as possible by getting hit by the enemies. The problem is, if they are not getting hit, they are not getting rage, and therefore they cannot uh, spam uh, Sunder Armor and others. So that's a bit of an issue, which means you should not uh, pull threat off of uh, the, the enemies. That might be a double pull with. No, let's see. Good. Which is why you are seeing me essentially just focusing on one target at the beginning. And uh, you can uh, see the thread here relatively well. Um, I gave myself the red color. Everybody else is class colored. Maybe I'll just uh, give myself a different color. Everybody else gets one color. That might be even better uh, from a visual perspective. So, at the moment, not a big uh, challenge, but uh, for larger enemies, it can sometimes be uh, a big challenge. Uh, then, another topic with threat in general uh, that might be relevant. Uh, threat is being calculated differently. If you are more than 20 feet away from an enemy, you're getting a lower amount of uh, threat. So radians are getting 130% of what ranged characters are getting. The problem is the moment that uh, the problem is that threat is an overall value, like a numeric value. And if an enemy ever moves a bit closer to you, then that means uh, the multiplier changes. So if you are very close as a ranged damage dealer, to the threat limit, and then all of a sudden uh, you are hitting it by essentially the enemy closer to you, then that is a problem. Because all of a sudden are at the top of uh, the threat meter. Consistent and careful pulls. I like that. On this one, I think I'll just uh, drink through it because next one will be another AOE pack. Like I mentioned, I'm uh, surprised about uh, the general quality of people that are so hardcore in dungeons. Uh, so far, I haven't really seen any of kind of the horror stories. It comes in so so handy here. Very happy that I spent the talent points for that.
people are dying left and right today. A couple of warriors down. Mage, level 22. Anyways, thread wise, I am very much okay. 20% of uh, the tank, so the tank is full uh, protection spec, apparently. The cool part about dungeons is it is a nice little break from leveling uh, as much as I like the Western Plague Lands, Eastern Plague Lands that is. It, yeah, it's nice to sometimes just level by uh, yourself, but sometimes it is uh, good to have others and I prefer the company of others. Unfortunately, no crowd control here, but we can quickly kill one of uh, them. Satyrs are invisible, as anyone is wondering. Very nice, quick pulls here, not wasting any time. I'll drink to full just because I know we're going to have a next pull afterwards and if you never get to full then you're in this perpetual state of needing to re-drink and drink and drink sees the pad so no need to call it out yep he very much has it on the radar and our rogue kicks nicely or um, our warrior pummels but yeah anyway anyways the interrupts are on point i don't even need to cs very smooth group so far
Good. Got the Kreskin key, which is good. Um, that actually is a good recipe. Good. We did uh, get a nice uh, random Viking hammer. That should sell good in the auction house once I have access to the auction house. In the meantime, I'm rebuffing as yes, we're on the way. No cloth loot, but that's okay. That's okay. Maybe. This group is uh, getting the hang of it, and we go for another dungeon. In which case, um, the cloth loot would still be reserved for me. And I think there are a couple of items uh, that we As the counter spell this guy. If I remember correctly, there was a satyr here that could sacrifice someone. Okay, luckily it doesn't walk into us, and we're okay with we are standing. Without a warlock, these quadro packs need to be tanked. I don't have any crowd control against them. Satyrs unfortunately count as stupid demons. I'll drink through this guy. Alright, good pulling so far. I mentioned that beforehand, but generally really well done. That's the next boss. It's a caster. There is caster loot, theoretically.
Thanks to our role, she never really started casting. Nah, not good enough. Yeah, the band of uh, vigor. Yeah. Not sure why a boss isn't even dropping something uh, blue. I think that was one of the worst drops that she could have had. Although, I mean, for rogue, agility and stamina isn't too bad, I guess. 14 points. We used a small downtime. Beats. Immediately resummon water. All right. Suksuk is back, which means we can continue. Sometimes on solo targets I can even be damage leader if the crits are coming in nicely. Healer is also that he can decurse himself. He did that even faster than I could have done it. Pulls it even back into uh, the blizzard. Just overall, well done. Hydro spawn. I think that was another boss, if I'm not mistaken. Nice. 
and that that on the other hand is not going to be my boss boy boy is this not going to be it Threat level is higher than if I would be using My threat level is higher compared to if I would be using uh, water simply because uh, I don't have threat reduction there. Uh, that's not bad. a bit more than that even good got our first upgrade certainly not the best slot but also not bad we got like what 19 spare power which is good which is good Okay, buffs are starting to fiddle out, but we are on our way to the end boss, the sacrificing one, if I'm not mistaken. Good, so the reason why the healer needs to line of sight is this guy has an ability called Sacrifice and whoever he's targeting with said ability will pour it on the altar and takes around the hit point then as well. It's not a problem as long as it is not the healer, but if it is the healer, We gotta be a bit careful. Should have popped a arcane elixir much earlier. Now for one more boss, it just doesn't matter. Intensify pain. All right. So far, so good. Hasn't popped the sacrifice. Ah, oh, there, there it is. There's the sacrifice. It's easy. And then have the chance for another one. Increase the damage done by shadow spells and effects. Yeah, that is. Not as uh, good as the ones that I'm carrying.
clever group. I like it. Everybody moves his pack. No one. No one just jumps uh, the gun, and I was wrong. It's the, it wasn't the last gun. It was the tree was taken at the end of uh, this episode. Uh, and that's what we're doing now. I'm just asking the group if they want to maybe stay together and do another instance. Finding groups takes a lot of time. Stop there. That was good. Yeah, it might come with these guys. Nope. You put them. Uh, very well. Someone's looting mid combat. Not me. Ah, we're taking the side road. Okay, that's clever. Okay. Couple more pulls and then I think we're at the boss. Who should be the enraged tree? AFK and full patrol just went all the way to here.
Okay, well, that's an interesting way of shortcutting most of it. Not sure if I agree with that uh, one patrol that we've left uh, there. That was cutting it close. Stay a little bit further away because that guy has a nice little cleave. And I don't feel like getting some extra damage. Remember, there was a fight down there. Apparently we can bypass most of it. Oh yeah, there he is. Altseen, the Wild Shaper. correctly it was a double um, fight like against two of them it was super long ago that i did this dungeon vaguely remember it being a pair of swords i might be wrong maybe it was just him the moment that we are AOEing. The damage distribution is very clear. Okay, cool. Give me a chance for some mana and then we're ready to go. Ready, ready.
go. Of course, plate and leather. The one time that we're the only guy here who is a cloth wearer. Well, congratulations. Good job, Druid. And oh, some good plate uh, gloves as well. I think uh, that's it for this episode. Maybe I'll show another dungeon afterwards. Have a good one. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon. Bye bye. All right, here's the second keeper. Nice, we can even sort of pull him. Your little uh, fire shot doesn't mean anything to me. Fire no as well, so I can see why people are dying to him. Okay, next up, chapter one, and then we're done with that. You just found a Twilight Lord. Where is uh, the Lord? Careful. That's an elite mob. Good. Got that one down. Shadow World Pain ticking for 166. Holy smokes, that's a lot. Anyways, uh, we're trading in down here, and then we uh, move uh, back to trade in all of the quests. Good. Let's trade in all of the Mexicans. Holy. What is that true believer quest? I haven't had that on the radar. So he wants Twilight texts as well. Okay, that's strange. Okay, let's trade in the quest first. Noggle, here's your sachet. Hmm. You know what? We can actually use that. No follow up quest? Okay. That is unfortunate. Here we could get uh, death class, uh, class. But yeah, we don't want to just be another victim of his. So I'll say thank you and we're not going to do it. Unfortunately, it seems as if the only thing that we can now get is the, the further Twilight texts. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's grind them, bring them down here. We're at um, almost 80%, which isn't too bad. 
Okay, so after some more extensive farming, we finally found 10 extra texts, which means we can finish the true believer quest. We're going to do exactly that. Also, I took the elite quest, which only included um, talking to the guys. So, yeah, I'll do whatever it takes to get a little bit more experience. Wanted Terror Death Clap, the guy that is respo single handedly responsible for most of the death. Uh, I asked the only other player that is in the zone and they did not respond. So I suppose potentially uh, that'll be it. Let me trade in the quests for now. Very good. So, first one is the talking quest. Here is Natalia into the Maw of Madness, I think is another elite quest. That's a pretty neat staff. But it requires two. Um, yeah, it's basically just extra elite quests and then venture into the hive that's not going uh, that's only not going to happen so uh, that's a strict no-no we're going to trade in uh, supposedly the last quest and then we're off to our way to the moon blade very good so let's trade in that quest and He's basically asking for more texts at this point. Uh, we are pretty much done. So off we go back to Ogrimmar. Okay, I gave it one last shot because uh, Leonarius uh, just locked on. And with three people in the zone, finally Leonarius answered me. He agreed, uh, or they agreed, I don't know if it's he or she, to help uh, with... Um, the scorpion which should make a huge difference two frost mages should be capable of getting that thing down so let's prepare get ready and uh, get that thing down all right so our tactic is to double sheep and then essentially get the boss down as you can see the uh, stone dash players aren't that much of an issue Better be safe than sorry, eh? My comrade just fell down. So let's help them to clean up their mess. Double mage is a fun combo. Good. So let's trade in. Oh wow, fitting. We're going all the way up here. Just to trade in uh, the elite quest. I, th 
think I could have soloed him, but many people might have thought that and were very much surprised by his poison. Nice little dagger. I think we're just going to take this one. Fantastic. Uh, off to Overmar. We're done at this place and uh, let's trade in the quest in Moonville. Uh, Okay, Umber. There you go, look at this encrusted item. And he sends us to speak to his boss. We got a nice little chunk, 3000 experience, and we're going to get more once, we're, uh, once we can trade it in. I'm not 100% sure, but all of the quests might be just enough in order to get us over the hump. How fitting in a tranquil environment like the Moonglade, uh, getting your sixth. All right, Rabin. Nah, let's start with this here. So ten uh, strings. Oh, that one is good. It was a ring after all. Fantastic. I'm very glad that I did this uh, quest because that ring is fabulous. Losing five stamina but gaining 12 intelligence. Yeah, that's a trade I'm willing to take. GG's level 60. Fantastic! That was good. Getting shards of Felwine. Got the chart of Felwine, so. Oh, okay. We need to combine it. Fantastic, and we got some really nice uh, offhand item as well. Stamina and intelligence. Yeah, the spell damage would hurt a little bit, but the restoration, the mana restoration, isn't too bad either. I think I'll go with that for now, uh, simply because it has more stats as well. Uh, so that's not bad. Makes up for the lost uh, intelligence overall. And now we're rocking almost. 5,600 uh, mana, self buff that is. That's pretty good. Anyways, uh, let me give you a warm cheer and then we're ending today's episode with an absolute banger of a dance. We made it. It is level 60. Uh, the, uh, this Diary of Death is still continuing strong. I think I'll do a couple of dungeons uh, just to take a look at the 60 content and who knows maybe we'll make it into raiding uh, if you guys are interested in seeing that leave a comment and a like down below um, congrats on the first attempt to directly do a level 60 with a frost mage it has been a blast I really enjoyed uh, the series so far so hopefully see you in the next episode and have a good day bye bye